guys. So today I'm going to be comparing a high end to a drugstore setting powder. So let's get this shit on the road and let's start with this tutorial. So I'm going to be taking my NYX HD concealer in 04 sand. Um, this is like five shades lighter. I know, but I'm extra, you know, I don't like that natural bullshit. But anyway, I'm going to be, you know, just highlighting my forehead the bridge of the nose and the chin we're going to be drawing a upside down triangle under our eyes to highlight because these bad boys need to be covered guys they need to be covered anyway so now i'm going to be taking my pro beauty blender which is the black one um you don't need the black one all of them basically do the damn same shit to me that's what i think they just all do the damn same shit so anyway, we're going to just blend, blend, blend. You guys just make sure when you guys do use our beauty blenders, you know, that if you bounce too hard on, you know, the skin, you will be removing, you know, the coverage. So try to bounce as lightly as you can. I know in the video it looks like a lot, but it's just because I speed it up a little bit, just so that way this video didn't take too long. So then we're going to be taking our Maybelline and our Laura Mercier translucent. The Maybelline one is in 01 light. That's the lightest shade. Now, first we're gonna be going in with the Laura Mercier. We're gonna be dipping that beauty blender in that shit and baking our under eyes. Basically, what baking is is just getting a fucking lot of powder and wasting a lot of it on our face. I do like to bake just because I do see the difference. So we're gonna be baking under our contour just so when I do bronze up, you know. Then we're gonna be taking the Maybelline one and we're gonna be packing that shit under our eyes as well. Basically the same damn method that we used on the other side. Now the reason why I like to go under the contour is so that way when I do go ahead and bronze and contour, you know, my contour is snatched. So let's see which one of these works. Now I'm going to be taking my MAC 135 big bronzing brush. I like to take my Hula Benefit bronzer. It's the best bronzer on the market. I think, in my opinion, uh, that's what I think. Now we're going to be bronzing our cheeks. Then we're going to be taking our Morphe M527 and brushing all of this away. I do not like how in real life the Laura Mercier translucent powder you know stuck to the concealer and didn't blend it kind of just left like a patch and on the right side where I left my Maybelline you know it was smooth and as you can see in the video guys that it does leave a harsh line the Laura Mercier translucent powder leaves a harsh line under my contour which I do not like so it's just hard to blend as to where the Maybelline is actually easier to blend see that that ain't cute so i'm going to just try to blend 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 so guys i've decided that the maybelline has won anyway we're going to be taking our mac give me sun and just bronzing up because we do not want to look pale and dead as fuck so just bronze 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 So right here, I'm just checking, you know, how it all left me. Now I'm going to be soaking my face in this Mara Badescu rose water. It did mess up my eyeshadow because I was stupid and I forgot, you know, when too much of the wet gets on the lids, it messes up the eyeshadow. So I do have to go back in later on and fix that. Right here, I'm taking my Morphe. M501 and I'm highlighting and I'm using the Poppy Brown highlighter in bronze glow. Sorry guys, that is my computer telling me that it needs to be charged. Now right here I'm taking my Hula Benefit bronzer and I'm just going to be snatching this nose just because I want it to look a little slimmer. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Pro Pencil and Base One. I like to use this to open up the waterline and brighten it. 
so there will be a tutorial on this look coming soon guys so leave me you know request down below if you want to see this look or if you want to see another look but anyway guys i love the maybelline powder i advise you guys to go ahead and get it because it is better in my opinion than the laura mercier translucent powder and the maybelline powder is actually only four dollars and the laura mercier translucent powder is 38 dollars so you can't go wrong with that so let's highlight these collarbones or whatever they're called and also the shoulder just because this is going to add an extra effect for my photos i hope you guys like this video if you guys want to see any other videos just please leave them down in the description box or in the comment box i mean and you know request them and i will look at that and try to get those videos up asap so just let me know guys thank you guys so much for watching my channel and supporting me guys love you guys